for you to see, but look, they're little baby stingrays. Come on, come on. The back legs are raised. He's gonna go. Where are you? <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to MD Fish Tanks. I'm MD and these are my fish tanks. So the rainbow river tank you can see behind me has now been set up for about three weeks. About a week ago we added our rainbow fish, dwarf neon rainbows. They're getting along great, they're doing really well. The flow may be slightly high, um, I don't think it is. A lot of you do, do think it is though. So let's just switch out the filter now, put a little bit of a slower one on. Okay, so at the moment we've got this beast in here. This is 1,800 litres per hour. I'll flash up here somewhere what that is in gallons per hour. And now I've got this one it's 1300 liters per hour so it's you know it's quite a drop in flow that should be but you can see how it is at the moment excuse the stuff on the glass needs to give it a wipe yeah i mean i don't think that's too fast to be fair and the fish don't seem to mind either look here they come now he's loving it he's absolutely loving it and and what's really good now is that they can choose to be in and out of it but they just choose to do this backwards and forwards motion in it all the time so i'm guessing they like it look there's I'm of the thought of why the, why on earth would they sit in the flow if they didn't like it when there's plenty of other places in the tank, like in between these rocks. Look, you can see right through to the other side. Why would they sit in the flow if they didn't like it? Those two seem to be having some sort of row. I reckon one of them just said, right, I'm off to the pub. And the other one was like, you went to the pub last night. Uh, no, I didn't. Get back here. What am I doing? No, you know what? You know what? Having just watched their behavior and how close they are to it, their look, and they're completely fine. I'm not changing it. Screw you, people. This is fine. They're loving it. Why would I change it? This, they're clearly enjoying themselves. This side's nice and steady still, look. So I'm gonna keep it. Especially as the fish we've got coming in next are gonna really like this high flow. Right, yeah, you guys. <laughs> at the end of both the last two videos, like the amount of times I got the same comment about Hillstream loaches. Of course Hillstream loaches are going in this tank, like it's the perfect tank for them, you're right. I knew this all along, but I didn't just want to start with those. I really wanted the rainbow fish first. The shop was selling Hillstream roaches for a ridiculous amount of money. I was like, I'm not paying that because I want quite a few in there. It's a big tank, lots of room for them. Um, it would have cost me a fortune and I knew another shop at the time wasn't open or I didn't have time to go to it or whatever. But let's go there now. I'm gonna go to Watermark, which is in Bridgewater, UK. It's, it's a really good shop um, and they've normally got quite a few there for a really reasonable price as well. So let's go there and grab them now. Right guys, so we're back at Watermark in Bridgewater, UK. Now I've been here before a few times and show quite a few of you place, but I haven't shown you everywhere before and I've actually got quite a good reptile selection. So let's have a look at that. Straight away guys, perfect. Turtles. Now apparently we've got here Reeves turtles, musk turtles. They're not for sale yet, which is fine because we're not set up either, but yeah, this is gonna be cool. Look at them, look how cute they are. I'm gonna come to the top. Hey, you buddy. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute. Now these are tiny for sense of scale, look. There's my finger. Don't bite. <laughs> this little guy down there. So yeah, nice. They've just, oh, there's loads, look. They've got a nice simple little setup, which makes sense, because obviously it's easy to clean, because uh, they're probably, being this cute, not going to be here for very long. But yeah, we're definitely going to be getting them, guys. Looks like they left this cage or enclosure open, because there's a nice shed here, a full skin shed. And there's something in here. I'm not sure. Ah, it's a snake. There we go. I'd help if I showed you. He's just like, oh, hey, MD. I've seen you here before. I don't know why it talked like this, but it does. <laughs> and then down the bottom here, look, we've got loads of these little tortoise, which are also quite cute, but I'm not really into them myself. I understand why some people are. My brother's actually got one. My brother's got one of these, and he's also got... Um, 
a chameleon so it might be worth going around there and do a little bit of filming at some point for you guys we've all got little letters on I guess that's so you can identify them when you're racing them dad jokes <laughs> look at this guy oh it is a bearded dragon it's just a young bearded dragon yeah oh nice see if I was gonna get reptiles I think I'd definitely go with a bearded dragon and then this one is a rankings dragon apparently which I'm absolutely oh hello he's like he's like climbing up like who's this I must protect my territory okay so I've just been told what's your name sorry? Ryan. Ryan's just told me that the rankings are pretty much like smaller versions if you like of the bearded dragons which so they they apparently they love being handled oh yes how about if I show you again oh my god this is cool <laughs> he's not any he's not gonna jump is he at all <laughs> yeah look at me look at me look at me when I'm talking to you there he is look. is it he she do we not know at this stage or too small to tell yeah oh my god and now I instantly want one. Oh, they feel great as well so in terms of um, fully grown size compared to this then compared to my hand so like a hat like an open palm and a bit yeah. more including yeah. the tail yeah yeah okay cool yeah that's a good size that means that you don't have to have an absolutely ginormous enclosure um, yeah so pretty, pretty, much what they're in there. pretty much what they're in here guys is a good size for him which is actually a perfect space that we've got in the studio so whoa <laughs> he's trying to move it's quite hard to film him and hold him but oh he's awesome yeah I think you sold this to me Ryan I think I think this is happening yeah, brilliant okay yep yeah, yep yeah. Ryan said I can actually hold the bearded dragon as well but because it's a bit hard he's shedding he doesn't like to be held too much or handled um, or stroked really he doesn't mind being handled I'm gonna hold him over the this one might jump off he might jump off but that's fine no he loves me oh look at that brilliant yeah he's shedding that you can see there seems to be okay with it my little fingers twitching like crazy I'm not scared it's just an awkward angle oh it's so cool so again is it no you can't tell the sex at this no, size too young really for that. well guys I think it's official this is going to be happening for sure isn't it oh lamps on <laughs> he's great go on then I'll let you go back if you want to no, no you don't want to doesn't want to <laughs> go back in <laughs> no he's fine go on then there we go brilliant oh my god oh, I think I'm officially a reptiles man <laughs> okay look Ryan's got the turtles for me now um, so we've got two different types there this is the mask turtle there and the one I was just about to jump off my hand is a reef <laughs> So the reeves will grow larger, I'm guessing, uh, or is that get, just get similar size? They're just a little bit older at the moment. So. Yeah. But can you imagine if they stayed that small? Yeah, that would be quite nice actually. <laughs> like a mini species. Yeah, they're wicked. I love them. Right here, we've got a crested gecko. Now we've just me and Ryan just spent ages trying to look for him or her, and he was right there the whole time. I'm jumping all over the place. Oh, look at him! He's so cute. He's like, put me back. He looks a little bit like a little metal. No, he doesn't. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's quick, isn't he? <laughs> so you can have these geckos in pairs, but if you've got two males, and as they get older, they can fight. But we want to see them jump again. Right, here we go. Go on, son. Go on. He's getting ready. Look, the back legs are raised. He's gonna go. Where are you? <laughs> okay, so there's a nice little saltwater section here as well. Look <laughs> at these clowns. They're looking wicked. And they've recently redone all this display so what they've done they've just simplified it massively so you know took a lot of the rock out and just gone for a much more open swimming space for the fish which is great look at that one down there i mean guys you have to forgive me i'm not great with names of any of the uh, salt water stuff at all um, even though i did have the salt water tank i had like a couple of clowns and some damsels and that was it so yeah no, but it is something I am interested in again in the future because I have got the cube aquarium, you know, if I do want to do something. They've got a really good plant section. Now, before I was sponsored by Tropica, I used to get all my plants from here. Their quality, to be fair, they get they get them sold out so quick and get a new bunch in that you never see any bad ones. And moving on to from there, look, they've got these Adolf Corys. Is that like <laughs> Adolf Hitler? I, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. And then we've got some more of the rainbows that I've got I've already got some. Whoa! <laughs> he come from nowhere. <laughs> what even is that? Guys, I'm sure you'll know. 
and I'm sure you'll all tell me in the comments below, won't you? <laughs> nice big discus down here as well. These are wild ones by the looks of it. Really nice, quite expensive. Uh, 120 quid each, I mean, yeah, it's a steep for a fish if you ask me, but you know, these are nice as well, look, pigeon bloods. Nice thick width to the head, looking really healthy. Well guys, look, it's the goldfish section and looks like they've got fish in that look just like chocolate. It's way too soon to even think about another one, but you know, it's quite nice just to look still. So they've got loads of pearl scale, they've got fan tail, they've got other ones. <laughs> I can't keep up with all the different names to be fair. These are quite cute aren't they to be fair. They look, hello, look at him just bobbing around, he's alright though, he's alright. It looks like they've just had a delivery in so they've got loads in at the moment of these, uh, all the Danios and whatnot. but the ones that we want is the Hillstream loaches that we can see sucking onto the side. They look, there's loads back there, look, awesome. I'll see if I can get a deal. Right, so look, here's the section I'm talking about that the kids are gonna love. And I've got a feeling my boys are gonna be drawn straight to this. <laughs> they probably will, won't they? Or one of, at least one of, oh my goodness. That's cool, that could work. Imagine doing a crashed planescape. Obviously I would get rid of this stuff at the bottom or paint it a different color or something, but that could be really cool to be fair. Anyway, let's come back over here and let's get our hillstream loaches and then let's get them back home. Like, subscribe. Right, so we got a fish, so let's go back to the studio now. Oh. And we're back in the studio. That was quick, guys. <laughs> right, the first thing we need to do is get the mini stingrays acclimating in the tank. So you're probably thinking, why the hell are you calling them mini stingrays? Well, look, look at this, guys. If you look at that, oh, I want to see them wiggling, really, but it's exactly like wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> they got these little like flippy floppy flippers and, and all that I'll put up next to them like an actual stingray and they're not too dissimilar at all they must be some kind of you know similar family or something look they're little baby stingrays come on come on yeah they've got a bit of an eight shape to them but they definitely are right let's get these bags open now they've been acclimating for a lot of time so they can go in Straight away they've gone. Um, well, these guys are loving it, but where's the hill streams gone? I can't see them. Maybe they've gone round to the f fast flow bit. Like straight. <gasps> there's one. There's one. That's interesting. They've gone. They've gone straight over to the fast flow. Look at this guy. Look at that. See his little heart beating. That's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, they're awesome. Okay, so he's there. Can we see any on? See, they like smoother surfaces. So these rocks have got like nice flat patches on them or flat areas that they might might really like. Can we see any more? I can't see any more at the moment, but you know, let's, let's just let them get settled in. I'll do a bit of filming, do a bit of B-roll, come back to it in a bit. Oh, come on, this is going awesome, guys. So we've now got two species in the tank. First of all, we went with the ones that I really wanted. And second of all, I went with what you guys were just hammering on about, but I was gonna get them anyway. Third, come on then, you guys have a go again. 
whilst you're putting there next. I'm getting a really good sort of community vibe going on there and I really like it. It's gonna add tons of interest. I wanna have small amounts of lots of different things just because it's gonna be really interesting as the tank progresses. But coming up next video, which was actually supposed to be this video, but it's only now that the volcano mineral has arrived. So, you know, we're ready. Everything is here, ready and set. I'm gonna be building this over the next few days. Hopefully the video will be done by Sunday. So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you hit the notification bell and I'm gonna see you next time. Why am I talking like that?